Hi, Kim Bishop here, and we're going to create an Easter crossword puzzle along with an Easter coloring page, just in time for Easter. We're going to do this by creating it in Procreate. So I'm going to be using my iPad, the Procreate app, and an Apple Pencil. I'm also going to incorporate Easter clip art that I created in my Skillshare class. If you're interested, check out the link below. I've also included a few clip art pieces that for you to use today. That link will be noted below as well. So if you're ready, let's get started. We're going to start off with adding a new canvas, 8.5 inches by 11. I'm using this size so I can print it off from my printer. If you're in another country, you can choose a different size. Tap done. Great. I'm going to grab a monoline brush. I'm going to turn on my canvas drawing guide. I'm going to edit the drawing guide and bump up the grid size. I'm going to tap done. First, we're going to create some answers for our questions. So I'm going to use, I think, chocolate, definitely Easter. And basket, bunny, and jelly beans. I'm just going to do six just so you get an idea of how it's created. So I'm going to add a layer. I'm just going to turn this down just so I can see it. Because I already have an idea of how this is laid out, I'm just going to go with it. So we're going to do chocolate, and then we're going to do Easter. We're going to connect A to basket, and we're going to do jelly beans. And this one is going to be blackened out. And then we're gonna do bunny. So now I can clear this. I don't need it. That's gonna be my answers. Just gonna rename that. And I think I'm just going to center this a little bit more, add a layer. And I'm going to write out my questions here at the bottom. So actually for the answers, we're gonna to want to number these. So this is gonna be one, two, that's four. This is gonna be five. This is going to be three. This way you know which one coordinates with what questions. So we're going to add text. If this is for personal use. You can use any font in your Procreate app. But if you're going to turn around and sell this crossword, make sure you're using a font that comes with a commercial license. I've made several fonts myself, so I'm just going to pick one to use. And then I'm going to lower my type size and left justify and I'm going to move that down here. We're going to type this out and I like typing on a full sized keyboard. One, what holiday has a bunny deliver eggs? And I prefer to have this fit in one line. So I'm just going to adjust my type box here. I'm going to duplicate that and move it down, highlight it and then type out the second line. Two, what does colored eggs fit into? Duplicate and move down. Highlight it by double tap and type out our third question. What is a baby rabbit called? Four, what does bunnies and eggs that taste yummy usually made from? Five, what are flavorful, tiny, and colorful? So there's our questions. So now that we have our questions, I'm gonna group them, rename them questions. Now I'm going to draw out my boxes. I'm going to use my monoline brush and use the grid as a reference. I'm going to add my numbers. We're going to want to group these and rename them numbers. Now I'm going to turn off my answers. So I want to move this in more. So I'm going to highlight the group and just adjust. Now we're gonna work on our background. I'm gonna choose a light pink, add a layer above my background, and I'm gonna grab the Soft Blend Airbrush. I'm gonna to go to the Adjustments menu, grab the Liquify tool, and I'm gonna twirl right, and I'm just going to move my pencil around until I get the desired look. And I'm actually gonna duplicate this layer, flip it upside down, 
I'm going to adjust the opacity so I can get more colors throughout and I'm going to merge it down. And if you want, you can even adjust it more by using the blend mode. Here I'm just using multiply. I'm going to add a layer, grab the monoline brush and white, and I'm going to draw out a rectangle and fill it with color. Make sure your snapping's on and I'm going to position it in the center so I can see my crosswood puzzle. I'm just going to readjust this a little. I'm going to rename this layer crossword. I'm going to highlight that, highlight answers, as well as the numbers and reposition it all. I'm going to go back to the white rectangle. We're going to want to duplicate and alpha lock the bottom layer. And I'm going to change that to a brighter pink. I'm going to two fingers right again to unalpha lock it. I'm going to grab my Gaussian blur from the adjustments menu and I'm just going to slide it up. I just want to get a slight pink outline. Now I'm going to grab all those, group them, and rename them background. Now I'm going to go to the actions menu and insert a file. I'm going to grab those freebies I mentioned earlier and I'm going to import it into my crossword puzzle. So if you're interested, the link's below. This is just a PNG outline of a bunny. You can change the color by swiping two fingers right, choosing a color, fill the layer, two fingers swipe right again, and now you can color drop it. I'm gonna go back and import those eggs that I supply. I'm just repositioning them in place. So I'm adding a layer below my pink bunny, changing my color to green. I'm gonna to go to the Procreate Organic Brushes and grab Sword Grass. And I'm just going to run it along the bottom edge. And I'm just going to move that down so it doesn't interfere with my questions. And I'm just going to bump up my questions just to ensure that. I'm going to add some by my clip art. And I want to go back to that layer and just erase what falls behind the crossword puzzle. This way there's no interference when it's filled out. And there you go. If you want to check out my clip art that I have available. The link is noted below and I use that to create this. Now we're going to go to our coloring page. So this is the inspiration for today. We're going to tap the plus symbol and create a new document. Eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm going to choose black. I'm going to grab the monoline brush from the calligraphy brushes. I need to go to the actions menu, canvas, turn on the drawing guide and edit. I want to do symmetry, options, and I'm going to click radial. If we choose rotational symmetry, this is going to give us eight identical lines. I'm going to choose to leave that off. The X lines will match up, and then the vertical and horizontal lines will match up. Tap done. And I'm just going to start doodling. So I'm just going to draw a flower in the center, some hearts. So those four lines are identical, and then you can add stuff in the center. I'm going to add another flower. This is one of the easiest and quick ways to create a coloring page because you're filling up space four times as fast. I'm just going to fast forward my video while I finish this up. I want to add a layer, go back to the actions menu. We're going to insert a file. We're going to grab the bunny again that I supply for this tutorial. And I'm just going to position it roughly in the center. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer. Alpha lock the bottom layer, change my color to white, and I'm going to fill that bottom layer with white. Now I'm going to swipe two fingers to the right and turn the alpha lock off. And I'm going to color drop my bunny white. This way all the background doesn't show through to the bunny. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to draw some inner ears for my bunny. An eye. I'm going to outline the tail as well as the shoulder and hind quarter. And I'm just going to outline my front legs, just so you can see that there's a break there. I want to adjust my background, but I want to duplicate it first. And I'm going to want to turn off the assisted drawing. I'm going to turn off that bottom layer and I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go back to that top layer. So some of these objects don't make quite sense. So I'm just going to go back and just clean this up behind my bunny. And there you go. If you love Procreate and you're into Procreate stamps, I created this selection of Procreate stamps that you can use for commercial use projects. They're pretty cool. I also created a set of clip art. So if you're making anything for Easter and any more activity sheets, make sure you check out 
the link below. I mean, how cool are these? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below to get notified of my next video here on YouTube. If you want to know how to create a chocolate Easter bunny, a marshmallow Easter bunny, and an Easter egg in Procreate, make sure you check out my Skillshare class. The link will be noted below. And we also created a word search puzzle of using Procreate and creating really cool things.